Okay, nobody on nobody on earth has ever seen this before. Each one of these little LED cells emits RGB. You can actually choose whether red, green, or blue, or have it emit white light by emitting all three channels at once, which is what I have uh, turned on right now. All uh, red, green, and blue on each one of these little uh, five millimeter LED cells are turned on identically. They're spaced roughly, uh, I think, an inch and three quarters apart around the ferro cell, invented by Tim Vandarelli. Nobody's ever seen this before, ever. Let's turn off the lights and show you something that proves my theory beyond any shadow of a doubt. I see. Let's come to the dielectric inertial plane first. Pardon for the uh, light streaming in. I'm making this video in the, uh, the daytime, early morning. And what you can see here is red, green, and blue along only the dielectric inertial plane. And you can see one of the poles here is red and one is green. Remember, all LEDs around the ring are emitting RGB at the same time, supposedly to create white light, but it creates white light by emitting RGB at the same time. So, as you see here, now watch, see this polar, this proves not only that the dielectric inertial plane, according to my premise of radial, uh, the z-axis radial dielectric of the missing geometry of light, but you can see that the centrifugal here is green and the centrifugal here is red. Now since all diodes are emitting the same color, this proves one direction of spin here and another direction of spin here. And all three channels only combine on the dielectric inertial plane or the centripetal reciprocating magnetism. Now watch as this goes from green to red and this one goes from red to green. And watch this. No one has ever seen this before on a ferro cell. The red patterns are the centrifugal magnetism, but the RGB lines where you have your rainbow patterns, now this is deeper in, this is along the inertial plane. It looks like it's at the top, but it's along, if you look at it at an angle, you can tell that it's on the inertial plane. It's not up at the surface at the uh, quote-unquote polarity. But this line and this line, you can see the RGB. So, by using RGB diodes, I'm able to differentiate centrifugal and centripetal patterns using light deflection from its dielectric radial uh, z-axis radial component. And the same thing on the other pole. You'll notice this one is green dominantly on the centrifugal. And if I flip it over to the other pole, because we have inverse spin on the centrifugal, this one is red dominantly, except for the centripetal, which is RGB. You can see a little rainbow there. All these RGB patterns, except for the one deeper here, which is the inertial plane. All these red patterns are centrifugal, but the rainbow patterns are centripetal. No one has ever seen this before. This proves my theory beyond any shadow of a doubt. Of course, idiots, skeptics, and morons with a thousand proofs will never believe anything. But look here. You see how oh, we have one pole green and one pole red, and only RGB together at the inertial plane. Remember, once again, the diodes are equally spaced around this lens. Every little uh, four millimeter LED is emitting RGB at the same time, all of them. What's happening is the dielectric is attractive to all colors because the z-axis radial dielectric, but one clockwise spin is causing green dominance and the other uh, counterclockwise spin is causing red dominance, but they will invert colors as I switch them around. Look at that. No one has ever before seen this, ever. Now I want you to understand the importance of this. This is the Z, uh, this is the uh, dielectric inertial plane of our one inch cube neodymium iron boron N48 Gauss magnet. You see the three channels together only along the inertial plane or along the centripetal returning magnetism. As you can see here, this side, centrifugal, deflects 
the green and the blue, therefore we only have red on the centrifugal. But on our centripetal, since centripetal is reintegration into the inertial plane, we have RGB together. Now the, the uh, one down here that is uh, white light, RGB together, is the inertial plane. It is deeper. If you're able to look at it at an angle, you're able to see a better 3D view. So remember this side centrifugal is red. Let's flip it over to the other side. This side centrifugal is green. But of course the centripetal, the same as the inertial plane, the same as the other side, this side centripetal is RGB together. Sorry, I need to do this much later at night. The light's starting to pour in at 6 to 30 in the morning here and the window's behind me. But watch as the poles change color as the uh, dielectric of the light is deflected. We have red over here now and now we have green. But of course our dielectric influence of our light, we have all three channels together, but only along the inertial plane or the returning centripetal. Centrifugal is one color. You can see it here is red. Same here, different color, but centrifugal is one color. Integrating centripetal is RGB. RGB white light right here along the inertial plane. You can see the red, green, and blue together. Now look, this side centrifugal is green, this side centrifugal is red. Proving inverse polarity spin, this, the first time anybody's ever seen this, this is July 29th, 2014. We have centrifugal red, we have centrifugal green. And we have our inertial plane dielectric. I'll film this again when it's really dark so you'll get a better image and I'll zoom in better. I'm going to try to zoom in now so you can see it. You can see the three channels here. Red, green, and blue at our inertial plane. Let me zoom out. So, you're seeing it first, other than me, you're the next person to see it, this uh, phenomena on Earth. This proves my theory on both the nature of magnetism, the principle of the dielectric inertial plane, and also on the missing secret of the geometry and compo composition of light that it is not electromagnetic in its entirety but has a z-axis radial dielectric this proves that whether you believe that or not I don't care but it does prove it there's absolutely no other explanation for this along with my many other models along with another invention from a friend of mine up north along with the uh, mathematical formulas of Dr. Olaf Defimchenko, along with some of the obscure notes of Oliver Heaviside. Look, you see how each pole is a different color? Once again, I hate to repeat myself, so important. Each one of these little diodes, let me turn the light on again since we're done with that demonstration. Each one of the diodes ringed around here, here, each one is emitting red, green, and blue simultaneously. Not white light, but white light from the RGB so closely together. But the magnetism and the dielectricity is deflecting it. That's why you have one pole one color, the other pole another color, and the rainbow pattern of the dielectric or the centripetal returning reciprocating magnetism. This is the coffin nail. It's over with. I've got 13 models to prove my theory now. Most people don't even need more than three to prove a theory. It's not a theory anymore. It's confirmed. It's over with. You can believe it or not believe it, but it's over with. 
I'm glad to share this discovery with you tonight, and I will make a better film of this tomorrow using other magnets and darker light because the sun's starting to come in behind me. But, I'm happy to be right. You're here to witness it, the first person ever in history to uncover and unravel the entire nature of the missing secrets of magnetism. I made this discovery tonight. No one else has ever seen this before. I'm so happy to bring it to you. Thanks for watching. I'm working hard on the third edition. If it's a week or two late, it's only because I'm trying to introduce enormous amounts of material for you to see and witness diagrams, pictures, pictures, diagrams, elaborations, descriptions. So, everybody so far has been really happy with it. It kept, except for a couple of skeptical morons, but that's to be expected. I actually expected an enormous amount of skeptical idiots, especially those from the cult of quantum. Thanks for watching, and I am just absolutely amazed and stunned, and I'm glad to bring this video to you. This is amazing. Remember, I was getting white light. You can't actually see it here. Let me actually take the camera off so you can actually see it. Since you may not believe me, you can look in at the angle here, and you can see each one of those diodes. If you look at it here, you can see the red, green, and blue but it looks like when it's together it looks white but as you can see each little diode is emitting red light green light and blue light all at the same time as they're spaced around no trickery all the diodes are the same if you hold it at the right angle you can actually see the red the green and the blue it's over with the missing secret of magnetism has got 13 proofs now, and this is the first time anybody has ever seen this or witnessed this before. January 29th, January 20, I mean, uh, excuse me, January, July 29th, uh, 2014. Thanks for watching.